Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and can leave your feedback to me. Now moving ahead in this course, we have already covered what are the types of injection by which you can easily flow out into various application and can gain uh, various names in the pen testing field. Also what you can do implementation is quite a way big in the SQL injection part. All the major giant organization like Facebook, Google really appreciate that if you report any SQL vulnerability and the reward is quite high. I have received quite a one of them uh, in various injections having in vulnerabilities in the Facebook, in the Google and they reward quite a much like uh, five even the $1,500, $2,000 or maybe more depending upon the severity of the vulnerability. But in this section, we are not going to open our anything like that and we are going to just focus on the things like how we can learn some advanced commands of SQL so that they can assist us in the live environment. So let us first set up our lesson number five and then moving ahead on the command prompt to learn those commands. So for that, we need to switch to our virtual machine here we are. Uh, let me open up the command prompt. You can see lesson 5.zip is here. You will also found it in, in the platform where you have purchased my course or if you have purchased it directly from me then you can leave your uh, email to me for about in the query about these zip file. So let us try to put all these things here. Now what I would really like to is I want to travel to the desktop, do a quick ls. I would like to move this zip file to slash war slash www slash master. I would like to travel to this directory to www slash master and if I do a quick ls here what I find out here is the lesson 5 zip file is here I want to unzip the contents of lesson 5 okay the zip file is here. Now let me run. I've already run the Apache server and MySQL. As you can see, the commands are very simple and I hope by the meantime you have learned them. So let us move back to lesson number five. Okay, so here is the things and here we have got a nice annoying image which is one of my favorite cartoons of the old time, the legendary Tom and Jerry. Okay, so let us put the things as it says question mark ID equals one. Okay, let me hit. So it says you are in Hitesh website is being displayed and you are in. Let me hit the single quote. Okay, so error is here. And uh, let me try to fix it. Hyphen hyphen plus. Okay, so it is being fixed. Now let me try to dump some things like order by one. Okay, so order by let's say five or four. Okay, then union all select one comma two comma three. Okay, nothing is being displayed. Let me put a minus here. Okay, nothing is out here. So I'm not getting any number out here. So what could be the things that I might be missing out here? I have put a minus sign, I have put a, everything out here, the error was there, but no things have been displayed so far. And if I try out anything, there is no firewall, uh, of course, so that I can try some other uh, combinations and trying to bypass. Since this is a very different type of query, because we are getting the result out in this you are in phase, and we are not getting anything out of here. Now, this is really important part to understand that we need to actually the point here is what I mentioned is that we are getting an error out here. Let me just put a single quote here. Then again, we are getting an error. Let me put a one and a slash and error is here. Now, the point of concern here is that we are getting an error and if we generate these error in some controlled manners so that we can get our result in the form of an error then we can dump the database and find out all the related things but in order to understand all these things I'm going to write out 26 commands or 26 important commands of MySQL that will help you to assist to crack this challenge so let us move back 
uh, let me move back here and in order to start MySQL prompt we have to go to the MySQL and the user is root and the password is tour. MySQL prompt is here. Okay, so it's time to learn the, those 26 commands which will be helping you to generate the error in some controlled manner. So let's try to hit all of that. So first of all, I would really like to talk about a random function. So let me select and that is a random and I have to put a colon sign since this is an application here and in the real world you don't need to put a colon sign because we are commenting out rest of the section from the right side. I hope you got the thing. So it generates me a random number if I do it again I get another some number and in the meantime I'm getting and generating different different numbers. Okay this was the first one then the second one here is the count so I want to select count that is a function and I want to all and I have to assign it from where I want to count so I'll count it from information underscore schema and dot tables so I would like to count from here oops a small mistake I forgot to put a S sign so it's counting me all the things out here and it's going to give me the same output so we have studied the random function and count function now let us try to go one more thing the third command will be select check the random function and multiply it with some values like for example multiply it with the 4 oops I forgot to put a colon sign here so it's generating a random number and it's trying to multiply it each and every time with the digit 4 okay we have learned the third command now the fourth command is select there is also a very good function that is floor and we can assign it but in the floor function what I want to take is I want to take any of the random numbers so first of all I'll generate a random number and then I will tell it select floor and in that I would really like to put any random values or random numbers so let me put a random number from here and let me copy it and let me paste it here so the point you will notice out here is every time it's giving us the number two so it's actually rounding up the things for us I hope you got the point okay now just don't lose your patience here because uh, what we are going to and how we are going to apply all these concepts this definitely we are going to apply each and every of them but you have to be a bit more patient about it uh, also when I run this you might notice that here is the floor uh, that is the name what we have given out here we can also change the name easily if we assign some things like as let's say Hitesh okay so the name of the column is being changed I can also assign it to a bit simpler one let's keep it very very simple as A so the things are now A and it's displaying me a result as A now let me select the next command that we are going to run is seventh command that is select then we have to put table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables and the next command that we are going to learn is group by so group by and we have to assign it table underscore schema and let's end it okay so it's giving me some result the emails and all the things are being uh, displayed out here this is the email so we have grouped uh, according to the table underscore schema so this is the seventh command that we have got now in the eighth command I would like to just select the database that is the security database in which we are out here again a mistake I really don't like that select database I usually forgot to put a colon sign out here so 
let me first show databases use security database change so let me show how what this select database does when we are into some database really I'm sorry about prompting out every time prompting out from the a command prompt of MySQL as I forgot to put the name so it has selected the database name and it shows the database is the function that you have selected and you have got your database that is security and that's a pretty simple command our eighth command and in the ninth command I would like to do some uh, you can say mischief and I would like to select okay let's first of all this is our command select database and what I really want to do inside the select database I would really like to put a bracket out here and close everything into the bracket and again let me just be crazy and put a select here so, and let me check what happens when it happens so now the things have got interesting database first of all it was and now what it has become is select database now just keep your patience here because we are trying to do some double query injection out here with the help of these 26 commands so the command number 10 we have learned so now what I would like to do is again some things which are really different so let me put a select now let me put a concat select concat and select database and just for don't forget to put out these brackets in a very very precise manner because once if you are going not to put these brackets in a precise manner and everything will just wash it out so what we have got is again we have got a concat but select database is still out here and we have concatenated everything here okay so let me put up the things again into some more next commands so select concat and this time I would like to put some fancy characters now a small uh, assignment you can say for yourself as well so 0x3a that is I'm putting a hex decimal values here and again 0x3a now try to find out why these 036a stands are outing here and for what they stand for they are simply a character to make the output as a fancy but you have to make sure that you understand that why I'm putting this and what is actually deple depleting is it a comma is it a you can say colon or whatever it is so let me put x 0 x 3 a so I have put a 0 x 3 a everywhere and we got an error let me solve this I have uh, put I forgot to put a comma here okay so 0 x 3 a is directly depleting me out here you can also you don't require these 0x3a you can get rid of them as well so once you have got this now let me again go back and select some of these uh, this is quite a lengthy output so let me put just a here so that we can get an output name that changed as a so this is pretty pretty much better as compared to this huge data you can just put a, a here and get it it's a simple pretty pretty simple SQL commands that we have got now let's get and try to make things a bit more actively so what I can do here is uh, I can place some things like let me put a function that is floor function and also in the floor function I would like to apply a random function and yes things are getting complement complicated here and I really want to make them complicated at this point as this injection is not that much simple okay now let us check out what is happening next so now you might be noticed that you are getting a one adjust after the security and here is your answer why I have put the 0x3a so this is why I was actually putting it so make sure that sep I want to make sure that database name is actually separated so sometimes you have got 0 sometimes you have got 1 so it will all depend on the randomness because I have multiplied everything with the uh, two and since the random function always displays an output which is in between 0 and 1 so that's why it is only giving me an output by floor function is uh, you can say making it in round number and make giving us an output of 0 and 1 so this is what we have done so far after applying a number 
Now let me take a things uh, to a next level. And after A, I would like to put, let's say from information underscore schema dot tables and let's hit a colon yes I have hit a colon and let me go that so everything is being displayed in form of zeros ones and zeros and ones I hope it is a bit more visible to all the 55 rows so we have done that now apart from that what we can do I can also be little more crazy by grouping them by a so let me write a command for it so it's very simple group by a okay so group by a that means 0 and 1 are the only output in front of me so you can simply call these double query injection what I conclude from this so far here is that double query injection can be of two types if you've heard about them they are the boolean base and the time based in this case we are just either getting an error yes or not getting an error that is false so that means we have got a boolean injection which is out in the lesson number five so let us try it and after grouping it by this command we what you can also do you can also do uh, a select dot columns and you can also get a group by a that's the pretty same thing you can do any of that that's the pretty much same you can say for in our case so we are just leaving it here and now what extra we can do here is we can apply some count function here in place of so let me put everything just here and let me go here okay so we have got a concat so what I can do here is I can simply say select I can make a count here and I want everything and I would put like to put a comma here and I would like to remain all extra things just like here and let me check out what can be the output by this command okay so it's counting me all the things 277 and 263 so that's a pretty good and nice and neat output what we have got now yes some of you might have lost their patience so far uh, that what we are actually trying to do we are trying to be a lot more crazy here and yes craziness is all about uh, penetration testing what we do what we get from the various errors okay so what extra I can do here is uh, now let me check the things that that we can have here now somehow I want to dump the database here so how can I dump the database here is uh, let me check out so everything is set okay let me again do that okay so I have run these commands again and again and now you have said first time I got an output that is okay but I didn't wanted an output I wanted an error now it says duplicate entry and here is our beautiful database name now let me again again run this command okay again 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 this is times we have got an output but we don't want an output now keep this in mind that you have to run again and again this command in case you don't get an uh, output here in the form of error because we are quite a fond of errors we are pen testers we need errors here we have got so what I notice that if I this query is really really an important one if I get this query and modify it because this part is really important if I amend this part then I can dump out the database name the version name and quite other things let me check out that as well so in case of database if I check out as let's say version and put a function here okay yes this time it's the error now you might be saying hey Itesh, we are dumping in form of this uh, actual result also why are you interested in the errors if you notice again that in our challenge here we are only getting an error so we need to get all the outputs in form of an error so what you can do apart from the version uh, what you can find out is lots of other things let's say for example I want to find out uh, let's say user so how can I find out that user very simple 
Oh, I don't need in this way. I need an error. Give me an error. Yes, it is. So here it is giving me an error. So it is not actually in my control. I have to just again and again run the command. So username is out here. Can I dump some other and important things out here? Let us check that as, as well. Table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables where table underscore schema equals database. So is this thing working? Okay, subquery returns more than one row. Now this is not good because I haven't applied a very good function that is I haven't limited the things. So limit 0 comma 1 is the by default one. Okay, emails. I hope it is visible too much text on the screen. This is the emails and 0 comma 1 is being displayed. 1 comma 1. Okay, refers is the another table name and if I change it to let's say 2 comma 1 it is U agents so I have I'm getting everything in a controlled precise error that how can I actually get each and everything so this query is actually uh, getting out so many things and really video is getting too much uh, delay in length so what I really want to focus here after all these generated query is very simple that I am just want to teach you how you can make the errors in a controlled and a precise way to dump out everything. Now this is all about the double query injection and since this is a boolean based I have to control these errors and somehow uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, apply all these knowledge into a real world platform so that you can attack into any web application. Yes, of course, for a penetration testing purpose only. So with this, let's end up this video and thank you so much for watching.